Hello everyone, Mystic here. Welcome back to Bug Snacks. Last time we got Gramble back and we found another person being Wiggle Wigglebottom, but we can't finish her quest quite yet. So for now we're gonna have to leave her alone and well carry on. How's it going? Hello Gramble. I like to interview you, mate. You have time? I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? Um, you don't need to worry that much, Gramble. Let's start it. So, who are you? Uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. Okay. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family. And I thought I could really use one of those. You don't have a family, Grandpa? I did. But then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? Hmm. Okay. Why don't you fold some bug snacks, Grandpa? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. But everybody does eat bug snacks, Gramble. Uh, um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Okay, um, why did you leave town? Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They done treated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while. But I should have known Wambus never quits. What did Wambus do, Gramble? <sighs> the next night I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked, and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Hmm. Are your bug snakes safe from Wiggle? Maybe. Wiggle's a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Okay, then. Um, do you have any info on Lizbert, by chance? Lizbert? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. What would she do with the bug snack scramble? I like to think they're all like sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabelle. Can we talk about something else? Well, um, what happened to Lizbert, Gramble, then? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can, can we talk about something else? Okay, then. Um, we're done. You can relax, Scramble. I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lizbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. Okay, then. Scramble gave me a diary key. Like that, we're done talking with Gramble. Okay. The reason for this key is, well, much like everything else that we've been given. Hi. We can use it in Lisbeth and Agabelle's home. It won't open this chest because, as we know, it's a diary key. However,. If you're wondering where this diary is, look no further than the book. 
Alex. And oh hi. <laughs> this is interesting. I didn't realise I could talk to Grandma from here. Um, do you need help? I suppose so. Even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. Maybe a half dozen or so? Well, I've already done that, so, um... I've done the donations, Gramble. Oh, they're all so cute! Thank you so much! Hopefully my little ones will settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. Okay. That all just happened through a window. <laughs> <laughs> so, the diary key is used on the diary. The catch is, um, remember, have a look in here. You'll understand why soon enough. Because there is no diary as of this moment. How you doing? Looks like it's time to carry on the story. The... the full bow! <laughs> you look excited, mate. You're really doing it! You're bringing everybody back! You even got Bethika here. She's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> and... Here's the party. It's not that lively. A mixture because of there's only a total of four others, excluding us. And the only one doing anything technically in this party is Philba. So let's talk to Ambus. Well, howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. Well, that was just cold. Instantly saying that he's not friends with Philbo. Okay, Gramble. Oh, hey, you remember Charlie? How's my little sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Granville, welcome back! How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it's, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Well, that really didn't go as planned, Philbo. Okay. Hello, Befika. You're by some drinks oh they're empty well still hey there bestie good to see you finally somebody worth talking to living here is better than that cave but it's still pretty dull like where's the trauma at thanks for coming to the party beth i like live here now you started a party around me well i'll take what i can get <laughs> how's the butt juice isn't this just water well uh it, it's bug infused so it's about as strong as you <laughs> I give this party a two out of ten well uh, come on everybody it's a party Woo drink mingle wild but I forgot doesn't this music make you just wanna yes. with you as if my new bestie is the only reason I'm here Wamus Gramble you two probably have loads to talk about I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got plenty to say to you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you. Bug snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love. That's why your wife left you. 
God. Find to lead us, everybody would still be here. Fine! All y'all gang up on me. It don't make me wrong. You all want trip me back so bad? Go find her yourself! Well, that just happened. Ambus is over there tending to the cacti. You should not look smug, Befica. OMG, that was so juicy. This party is now a four out of ten. You're evil. God, Gramble, you and Ambus really, really had to go like that. Nothing to be scared of. Papa's not gonna let those mean old grumpuses eat you. God. Lambus, what do you have to say? I know all about love. Y'all don't even know. It's just because I don't weep all the time. So Lambus hides it. Well, Fulbo, how do you feel about this, mate? Well, that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Well, here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. Well, um... It's true, we haven't eaten at all, and I don't know how long we've been on this island. So, down the hatch. Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Don't worry, Philpo. I just need some space right now because God. All right, as long as you're fine, I'll um, I'll get out of your hair. Well, that wasn't the nicest feeling, but after that, and um, Wambus hey, is. Mega outbreak with Gramble. How's it going? We do have one thing now. Lambus seems to have taken care of the cacti here, letting us go to a new area. This is where we'll find some more bug snacks that we'll need for people. We'll we'll find more grumpuses. But most importantly, well, we're gonna learn that these bug snacks aren't as friendly. Welcome to the Scorched Gorge. And automatically, pop ticks. We need those for Wiggle. And that is a Scorpenio. The catch about these two is Scorpenio throws fire. So I can use Scorpenio to actually create pop ticks. Well, that ain't good. They still follow that trail. The issue though lies with Scorpenio.
However, they love chocolate. You know where this is going. We'll lure them away from their original path. There we go. Both pop ticks at once. Now, I'm just going to instantly head back to Snacksburg. And the reason for this is I'm just going to feed these two pop ticks to Wiggle instantly. It's going to be good that I do this for, um... If I remember, this is the final task before Wiggle comes back. And there are two characters that I need to bring back to carry on the storyline. One, the mean Wiggle. Hi, Philbo. Okay, Philbo has something. And this is... Ta-da! It's your very own mailbox! Lisbert was gone most of the time, so if any of us wanted to get in touch or give her something that wasn't too important, we'd just leave it in here. And since you've kind of taken over Liz's job, I'm sure we can do the same with you. Beats waking us up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> oh, and what's this? I think you might have a letter right now. Go ahead and check. Let's see. Dear buddy. Thanks for walking me back home, and also for saving me from the brink of starvation. I figure since you'll be staying in Snacksburg for a while, you might need some basics. Here's a care package with everything I could scrape together. I hope you find yourself at home soon. Best wishes, XOXO, Mayor Bilbo Fiddlepie. Well, what do you think? When am I gonna keep this Philbo? But thank you for this. Great question, buddy. And that leads me to part two of Operation Gift Buddies. This way. Is this what I, I think it is? You could keep all your new gifts in your very own hut. I know it's kind of a fixer-upper right now, but hey, at least it's open plan, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, uh, this hut really was meant for you, and I know we're gonna finish it someday. So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating, and before you know it, this'll feel like home. Well, we can have a home. In this area, if you press triangle, you can see there's several marks with locks. That's because we don't have anything for those yet. And we can put down the furnitures we get given. So for now, I got basic furniture and a dandelion. But as you can already see, there's more stuff. All right. It's good to be home, stranger. Feels like a fresh start. If you're ever fixing the grow farm yourself, it's something that ought to help. Wimbus. Yeah. Hey, bestie. Thanks for convincing me to come back. I forgot how nice it is to have a real bed, lol. <laughs> Since I'm not camping out anymore, you can borrow my old sinking bag if you want. Enjoy, Befka. Thank you again for helping me and my little ones get to a better home. I sent you a lantern case you also get real scared of dark. Jowie, Jowie, and I guess we send their love, Grample. And then, this is the main thing about mail. You get given special tasks. I saw a snack the other day that I just loved on site. And I was hoping you could add it to my barn. I don't know what it was called, but it looked like a big heart flying on the sky. Gramble wants me to find himself a specific bug snack to add to the barn. This will benefit me in two ways. One, I'll get furniture. Two, it will assist in upgrading my storage for the bug snacks. But for now, I've got more stuff, so let's add. In the lawn, I can add a scarecrow. 
for my bed, I can have a sleeping bag. And for the hanging space, I can have a lantern. There's still a lot more you can get, but for now, we've got ourselves a little home. That's very good. So, let's head back to Simmering Springs, and I'm going to finally get Wiggle. As you can guess, I'm going to get more furniture for bringing back other Grumpuses, completing their special tasks that they can give me, and all of that. Now, this is what Gramble saw. A lovely sweetie fly. Much like the sweetie flies we saw back in earlier stages, they have a little special space that they will sleep at. Here we go. Since this one lands over here, I could just put my trap down in preparation. And once it comes over to have a rest, I will catch it. Here it comes for a rest. It won't mind the trap now. I catch it, and there it is. And let's say hi to Wiggle by feeding her some pop ticks. Hmm. I'll make your leg pop tick, and I'll make your foot pop tick. don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. <gasps> Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know Oh, not of course, Wiggle thinks that she needs bug snacks. That's um annoying. Well, um, like that, we've got Wiggle back, so that works out. Having now five of the 12 total Grumpuses and four interviews done, I can now interview Wiggle. You can now see that right above my time there in the bottom left, I have a mail icon. That shows how many new letters I have. So of course, for bringing Wiggle back, I've got one. As you can also see, I somehow caught up with Wiggle, despite how long I was standing there. So, let's go and put this sweetie fly into the barn. Here we go. Oh, it's raining now. Ah, oh, of course. Buddy. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but... It'd mean a lot if you could help the others. It's also very smart to help the others. Bramble, dear, are you free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry, I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. Uh, of course you do. Come on, Gramble, surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? Maybe. 
But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. <laughs> it's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. Uh, don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Ugh, whatever you say, though. Let me know if you're ever free. Well. With that, let's put the lovely sweetie fly in. As you can see, that was what I needed to put in. I also just ended up figuring out how to get on top of these homes. Well, I now have the ultimate power of being on top of Gramble's barn. Let's have a... Philbo? Not right now. I want to talk with... Well, I didn't need to see you up close, Wiggle, but... Have you got time for an interview, by chance? I am no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. Well, then. Let's start this up. Who are you? You certainly heard my number one single, Do the Wiggle. I had it stuck in my head for a solid month. So you are Wiggle Wigglebottom then. You see, Wiggle Wigglebottom needs no introduction though. Well, why did you come to Sacktooth Island, Miss Wigglebottom? Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. To get my... Creative juices flowing as it were. So your juice isn't flowing. Away. You know, no hit can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggles World or Wiggle Baby one more time. And I've been accused of being a woman. Hmm. Well, what are your thoughts on bug snacks? Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. Well, what price is that exactly? Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from her. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. Well then, um, why did you leave town? That's simple. I was following Graham. He certainly knows his way around. By chance, hypothetically speaking here, are you using Gramble for his food supply? No! Goodness no! I love Gramble! I would never! He's far too sweet! Like a little strabby! No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Okay, then. Well... Any info on Lisbeth by chance? Ah, oh, Lisbeth. She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Well then. Um... Does that happen a lot, by chance? Not nearly as often as I'd like. Okay then. Well, do you know what happened to Lizbeth, by chance, then? That night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying. 
towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. By chance, what is this queen of bug snacks thing that you're speaking of? Well, I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz cross paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Well, thank you, Wiggle. That's a wrap. I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched, but I swear on my platinum record it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Oh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. Well, she gave me a map to her last location. Thank you, Wiggle. That is going to be pretty valuable to me. Well, um... It also does look like we'll be neighbours with Wiggle. Hello, hard darling. It looks like we're neighbours now. Well, I hope you accept a token of my appreciation for earlier. Maybe this be the light of your life. and inspire you the way you inspire me. Wiggle. And for getting the correct bug snack. Lovely sweet fly, that's the one. Ooh, heart shaped bug is bound to be the most loving of them all. Thanks. And there is another bug snack Gramble wants already. When I was living in Simmering Springs, I sometimes saw a snack that hid in the bushes and come out no matter what. I'd love to see what it is if you can find one and donate it. I've already donated one, and that was the Tropica Bug. Ooh, Tropica Bug. It's just like a Shishka Bug, with a tangy sea scent. Thank you so much. Huh? And yet another. I've been thinking about another snack I'd love to have in my barn. It'd be like a Strabby, but different. No, a Rasby, that's too different. Does that make sense? Well, um... I could tell what he's talking about. So first, let's put the pink oleander in. And as you can see, most of this stuff I can't change. So that means that I have something different than I got from Gramble in regards to my Tropica bug. But for now, let's go get what he wants as well as have a chat with Wiggle. If you need something, Wiggle. If you're not busy, darling, I could use a helping paw. It seems like your run-of-the-mill bug snacks aren't getting my creative juices flowing. I need something oh spectacular. I overheard Wanda's talking about a sando pea. A snack made of many pieces working in um, that may be just what I need. Well, she wants some sub sandopedes, but I can't quite get those yet. I'll be able to get them soon enough. But for now, let's head back to the one place that I know of an alternate kind of strabby, Gun Grove. Here we go. Let's grab me the white strappy for our friend Gramble. There it is. Wait for the strappy to start going to the other side of its path. <coughs> there we go. 
Got the white strapping. Now, I have been running back every time, but there is a trick, which is, in the big map, you can indeed fast travel. Here we go. Let's go ahead and donate us the white stravi. Hey. There you go, Gramble. Hey, buddy. Of course, white stravi. It's perfect because it's exactly like Stragi Stravi, but not too exactly. Thank you so much. And yep, yeah, new item. The Knit Sprout Mat. It's honestly kind of nice to see this. And I've not got any new mail. Meaning, I've technically now finished everything I have at the moment. So let's carry on next time in the Scorched Gorge to hopefully get someone else back. This is Mystic, and goodbye.